Okay, let's uh, let's add another method into our vector method uh, library, and we want uh, let's make a random vec or vector uh, random. Uh, we want uh, first we're gonna pass in a random, and we're gonna pass in a length. And the reason that we're passing in a random is uh, I'm not sure how it works if I import random here and then how I would set a seed uh, to affect this environment. So instead, I'm just going to take the random uh, from our uh, environment here from our component and pass that random into our, our as our first argument here and so what we want to do is uh, this is just going to make a well here uh, I already typed this out it returns a vector pointing in a random direction with a magnitude of length so type type this out and uh, length is a float so we want to do rs uh, uh, create vector or vector create and we want to do it at x y z and we also want to do it at 0 0 0 or so it goes from 0 0 0 to our point x y and z so we need to make uh, our x, y, and z. So we're going to do uh, random dot uniform and we're going to just have negative 1 to 1. Let's copy and paste that. Y and Z, and then so let's return that vector. Uh, okay, I'm going to save this, and uh, I've noticed that now that I've saved it. Um, I can't. Oh, I guess I have it. Uh, sometimes this doesn't work uh, right away. Sometimes I need to save it. Uh, I need to save that edit Python script and then I need to restart Rhino for me to get my new uh, method. And I don't know why that is. Uh, if anybody knows, please let me know. And so we need to create our random. So import random as r, and we need to seed it. Oops. And then, so we're going to pass in a random. Uh, we're going to pass in this random that we've seeded. And uh, a length of let's just say 10 so that's going to return a vector and so let's pass that out just so we can make sure that this is working okay so oops Name seed is not defined. You'll notice that I'm not uh, I'm not giving any type hints for this. Uh, uh, sometimes you don't need it. Uh, if something is acting funny, always check and make check your type hint. Like right now, it's working fine but we know that we pass in integers so we might as well set the type hint for integer and now 
So now this is based off the random that we've seeded here. So if we change the seed, it will change uh, that uh, vector that we get out. So now we have that. So now we have, you should have two uh, methods here inside of your vector methods library. And we'll just keep adding, adding to that. And you always always want to have uh, the documentation that gives you a, that explains what what you're about to do, so that will help you out.